click on the Create page. Choose Design Your Buttons Online. Click on Start From Scratch. Choose a background from the Background tab. You can either choose a pre-made background image or a color. If you wish, this can be changed later on. Click on the Text tab. Click on the Text Entry box to create a new text object. Type the text you would like to be in the text object. Choose the font that you would like to use from your computer. Adjust the size of the words. For this text object, we want to arc or circleize the font. Depending on the font you use, you may have to rotate the object slightly to balance it out. We want to add more text. Click away from the object to ensure that it isn't selected anymore. Now click on the text entry box again to enter more text. We want to make it two lines, so simply press enter where you want the line break to be created. Resize the text object. Position the text where you would like it by clicking and dragging. Let's create a stripe across the center of the button. Click on the Shape tab and choose the rectangle shape. We can scale the shape by clicking and dragging the gray handles. We want to make this a stripe so we want to click Resize Shape Proportionally so that it's unchecked. Now we have control over the dimensions of the rectangle. Make sure that the edges go beyond the black bleed circle so that it will be wrapped completely around the button. Let's make the stripe to have a gradient. Click on Mix Colors. Click on Color 1 and choose the color. Click on Color 2 and choose a different color. Now we can choose the direction of the gradient. Once you've selected your choice, you can see the preview on the bottom. Click OK. Let's add some more shapes over the stripe. Changing the color and the size. If you make a mistake, simply click Undo. Let's recheck the resize shape proportionally so that the clip art can be scaled exactly to proportion. Making sure that the shape is selected, click Duplicate to clone the object. Click on the Image tab. Choose a category and an image you would like to use. Resize the shape and click Center to snap the object to the center of the button design. Click Preview Design. Make sure that everything is spelled the way you want it and that every detail is approved by you. Click Save for later if you want to save the design to be edited later. If you want to reopen the file later on, click Open File and choose the file that you've saved. When you feel like you are ready, click on Submit Design. Fill out your name and email address to continue. You should be all set to order from here. Simply choose a product size and quantity.